you guys, I'm Nick, aka the Rolling Nicks Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to run Minecraft 1.7.9 fast with absolutely no lag. First off, you want to come up here to the menu bar right up here at the top or at the bottom, wherever it's at, and then right click on it and then start task manager. It will then open up something like this. You want to go to processes right here, and then once you've done that, you want to click memory. It'll then order everything by the amount of memory being used, and you will see Java W and Java W. You'll see this twice. Well, why is this twice? It doesn't need to be there twice, so go to the second Java W, right click on it, and end that process. In process. Boom, there's that. Now, there are ways to make that not even happen to where that second one doesn't show up at all. So, if it doesn't show up for you, that's fine. But for those of you who it does, it's a great way to just quickly improve some speed in Minecraft and give it a little bit more room to work, if you will. And once you've done that, we can get into our Optifine settings, which, yes, this video does require you to have Optifine. Some people don't like that, but it is very, very easy to install. Literally a one-click install. So if you guys want to know how to install Optifine, I did make a video on it. It's the first thing in the description. There's an annotation in the top right-hand corner of your screen, as well as an annotation at the end of this video. So there's a few ways you can get to that. Go check that out. Install it. Literally, it'll take you 30 seconds. Come back to this video and we'll move on with the tutorial. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and go into options and then video settings. Once you're here, this is where you can change all of your Optifine settings down here at the bottom. Quality performance, all that stuff, as well as many other settings Minecraft already has built into the game to help you reduce lag. So, first off, fast graphics, render distance. We're going for speed here, so we're going tiny. Smooth lighting off, max frame rate unlimited. That way you don't have limited frame rate because limited frame rate can cause spikes and, and things like that, and that's not what we want, lag spikes. Smooth lighting, if it's off here, it needs to be off here. View bobbing, personal preference does not affect uh, speed whatsoever. GUI scale, the smaller the better as far as speed goes. I like to keep it auto though, but if you do really have problems with Minecraft lagging, you can make it small this size, but I am doing a video here, and you guys need to be able to see it, so I'm not going to do that. However, for the most speed, you need to make it small. Moving on, OpenGL, Advanced OpenGL. This is uh, going to need to be fast. Basically, what it does, I'll just read what it says to you because I might as well. Only visible geometry is rendered. So that means stuff that's behind you isn't going to render and it's not going to, uh, to lag you by rendering stuff that you cannot see. And so that's a good thing and that really does help speed up um, you know, the, the Minecraft loading process, which is what causes lag spikes. Brightness doesn't matter. You're not going to have any effect as to if it's really, really bright, it's not going to affect lag. If it's really, really, you know, moody or dark, it's not going to affect lag. I like to keep mine bright. Chunk loading, default, you don't want default chunk loading. You don't. You either want smooth or multi-core. So, multi-core is basically this. If you have a multi-core processor, which most processors that are better than a Core i2 Duo or a Core 2 Duo processor from Intel... Any processor that's better than that is going to be multi-core. Even some Core 2 Duos are actually multi-core processors. So most of you will have a multi-core processor. Some of you, however, will not. And if that is you, if you do not have a multi-core processor, you can simply go to the smooth chunk loading. I personally have a Core i5, and I do have a multi-core processor, so multi-core. Fog needs to be set to off, which is fastest, meaning there's not going to be any fog at the edge of your screen. Fog start doesn't matter because... Literally, if we don't have fog, it doesn't start anywhere. 3D anaglyph, that can be turned off, and then we can go into quality. Once we're into quality, minimap levels doesn't matter, this doesn't matter, this doesn't matter. Anti-aliasing basically doesn't really affect speed much. At least, I've not seen it affect speed, but some people do, so I recommend to keep it off because so does Optifine. That's where my my recommendation from that is I've had anti-aliasing on before and not noticed a single difference whatsoever but some people do and so I would recommend keeping that off clear water that needs to be off it's just a personal preference that I leave it on and everything else on this page from random mobs to better grass all the way down to natural textures all needs to be off to increase speed so that's very very simple just go down through here and turn all that off click done and then move on to details details everything needs to be fast or off basically cloud height that needs to be off fast 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 all that needs to be fast Skies and stars and sun and moon all need to be off. Capes need to be off because that's going to increase some lag. Depth fog needs to be off. Held item tooltips doesn't actually affect speed whatsoever, so I'll leave that on, but that's up to you. Translucent blocks need to be fast and dropped items also, guess what, need to be fast. Going to done, we can then go on to performance. Smooth FPS, I recommend leaving on because that's going to stabilize your FPS 
and prevent lag spikes and flu fluctuation. Smooth World, I also recommend to be on because that's going to basically do the same thing that Smooth FPS was, but it's going to be more effective on things like servers as well as some LAN worlds. Some people say it works in LAN, some people say it doesn't. I recommend just leaving it on no matter what, but nevertheless, there's that. Load far, I leave this off unless you have a really, really good PC. And if that's the case, you probably don't need to be watching this video to help min Minecraft run better. So if you have a really good PC with like a 8 gigabytes of RAM at least and a NVIDIA or a really nice NVIDIA or AMD graphics card and a really nice um, AMD or, NV or Intel processor, you can turn this on. Otherwise, you don't want to because what this is going to do is to make it load at far render distance even though you're playing at tiny render distance. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but uh, that option is there for those of us who want to use it. Preloaded chunks, that needs to be off, and uh, the reason I do that, and I've, I've gotten some hate for this before, and I'm going to go ahead and explain this real quick to you guys. The reason preloaded chunks is off is because I don't want it to load far, which is what preloaded chunks basically makes it do. So, you have to walk so far before new chunks are loaded, but for that to truly work, you can't be on tiny render distance because it needs to load more chunks to do that. So I keep it off, but if you can play around with that one and see what works, I would just recommend keeping it off. Chunk updates do not need to be 5, they need to be 1, and it's going to make the world load a bit slower, but your FPS is going to be much, much higher. And that's what we're trying to do here is maximize FPS. So there's that. Dynamic update is going to keep that on, and that's going to be... Uh, allow for more updates while the player is standing still, you know, so it's going to load while you're not doing anything, you're just sitting there mining a block. It's going to be lo rendering more than when you're moving, which is going to use more FPS. So uh, that's that's a really nice thing. It's honestly one of the best things in Optifine. Also, faster math on it. It uses optimized cosine and tangent functions for the uh, for the Java it coding. It's that's a coding thing, but trust me, it does help. Lazy chunk loading. Keep that on. Makes going to make it smoother and everything like that. It's going to optimize your FPS in servers that is actually a server only thing and fast render gonna leave that on which uh, optimize rendering algorithm which decreases the GPU load so um, there you guys have it I hope you guys enjoyed this video that's actually almost everything what am I saying you need to go here and click all off done and then other when you're in here basically everything here is optional except weather weather will help you load faster if you turn it off so, uh, weather off will raise FPS, and then auto save. The lower this is, the more it's going to lag. But, don't leave it at default 2 seconds, or 20 seconds, but 3 minutes or 30 minutes is where you need to be looking at. Now, keep in mind, auto save means if you die in that 30 to 3 minute period, right? Or if like your power cuts out, or your computer turns off, or something like that, if you die... Anywhere in a three minute period, you could lose some things. Whereas if you, you know, we save every two seconds, that's not going to happen, but it's going to lag a lot more. I would recommend three minutes because losing three minutes of work in Minecraft usually isn't that big of a deal, but losing 30 minutes of work in Minecraft is a huge freaking deal. So there you guys have that. Hope you enjoyed this video. That is everything for Optifine. If you guys have any recommendations or things like that, something that I may have said wrong, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll make amends in the description down below as well. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if it helped you out and you haven't already. I'm going to include a FPS showing at the uh, end of this uh, video here. I'm going to flash a screenshot on the screen right now to show you guys my FPS, and the reason I'm doing that is because since I'm recording, it will be pretty low, but whenever I stop recording and go into Minecraft, it'll be it'll be quite high. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I'm Nick Games, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is how to install two mods at the same time in Minecraft. That's going to break it down for you step by step on how to install more than one mod in Minecraft. It's very, very easy. Go check it out. That video will tell you exactly how to do it. And on the right is how to install Optifine. Now you've watched this video and you've learned all the Optifine settings, but how do you install the mod itself? Go check out that video to figure out how. Also check out my daily vlogs and bombs of your screen. I'm Nice Games and I'm out. Peace.